Let's take a look how you can put materials on 3D shapes in Illustrator super fast. And then I'm going to show you what are the 3D settings for this composition. This tutorial has been inspired from Daniel Esquedero from Brazil. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly or not, but he made these really cool inflatable letters. And here you can see these inflatable letters too with labels, which inspired me a lot. So I would like to upload these labels on this 3D letter that I made. So all you need to do is go here to the 3D materials and just drag and drop. And here you can see add graphics plus, and there you go. You select the other one, you add it, and it's basically gonna jump in automatically into the materials, into the graphics section where you can upload custom materials. And from here, all you need to do is just select the letter, select one of the materials, and it's gonna automatically upload it. You can go here to rotate, you can select it from this little square, drag it upwards and scale it up or scale it down. I'm gonna select the second one as well and basically do the same thing. So let's say you wanna select the first material like this one here. You can go here to the properties and here you can see the material. So I'm gonna select the graphic one and it's going to select this one. And you can switch it up to graphic two. Then you can modify the second graphic. Now there's like another option that I didn't see before is this invisible geometry you can click on. I also gonna hide the background. And this way you can see the full material wrapped around the 3D cylinder, which is really cool. Go to 3D materials, deactivate the invisible geometry. And not but least, I'm gonna show you the 3D settings for this inflatable text. So we got the object, inflate, adapt to zero, you go to materials, scroll down, the roughness is 0 0.23, metallic is 0 0.7, and let's go to the lighting. The lighting is positioned somewhere here, and these are the values. You can also add shadows if you want. As you can see, the shadows are really small because this 3D letter is on a bigger size. So the bigger the size, the smaller the shadow. And this was it, guys. Thanks for watching.